Hey, welcome into the arena. I was asked to do a video on using leg cues for barrel racing and pole bending. So that, as it happens, this is Harper and she's riding Ruby and Harper is going to take Ruby to Ruby's first play day tomorrow evening and do Ruby's first barrel racing and pole bending. So since that just kind of worked out, I said, great, we'll just make the video and Harper knows a lot of this already, at least the barrel racing part. And uh, we'll just show you how to do it, at least the beginnings. So if you have not watched my video on leg cues part one, that's kind of like a, a beginning thing. And if, if you can't find it, just open up YouTube and type in leg cues part one, and that video will pop up. So your horse, I'm gonna step in front of you here, Harper. Okay. Your horse, before you do this your horse has to understand the leg cues because if you take a horse that doesn't understand them and start trying to use them they won't work okay so this is your your leg cues leg position one is up here by the cinch that moves the shoulder leg position two moves the whole horse or bends the rib cage which we're about to do on the barrel leg position three moves the hip both of these horses ruby and runner they both understand it so i move his hip there I'll take my left leg, move his shoulder here, okay? And I'm about to use leg position two here in a moment. So your horse needs to know that, and I've got another video on how to teach it to your horse. So let me start off, and Harper's gonna kind of step out of the way, and I'll, sh I'll show you a couple of things, and then I'm gonna have her do it. And of course, Gus the dog is right in the middle of everything. All right, so when you're coming into the barrel, and you need to bend your horse around the barrel like the letter C. The way you do that, leg position two, you're gonna lift your horse's inside shoulder, lift, shorten that left rein, lift up and bend. And so runner can do this pretty well. He's got a long body so you can see he's got his body bent, all right? And that's the, the important part of this. Then, so if I start going around the barrel about halfway around, that horse is either probably either gonna go wide or he's gonna to try to cut it in. Now with Ruby, she's new to this, she'll probably try to go wide. So if I'm about halfway around the barrel and he's bent properly, but if he's going wide, then I'm gonna take my outside leg, probably leg position three, may not matter that much if you're going fast, and push him back toward the barrel like that, okay? If he's too close, which after the horse learns the pattern, they'll start trying to cut the corners. Then you're gonna keep that inside leg and you're gonna lift up and move that shoulder away like that. Okay, so let me do it again and speed it up and then I'm gonna have you do it, Harper. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here at a trot. So I'm coming into the second barrel. I've got him bent. He's a little bit wide, so I'm gonna push him back in with my right leg and head to the third barrel, just like that. All right, Harper, you try it. And Harper's done this before and so has Ruby. So as you're coming into that barrel, you're gonna lift your left hand, bumper with your left spur. Good, a little more, get a little more bend, that's pretty nice. Okay, and then about right now, shift to your right leg, right leg on, left leg off. Okay, so now we're gonna work a little bit on pole bending and Ruby's never done pole bending ever before. Right. Uh, uh, runner's done it a little bit. Now, the really good pole benders actually do lead, flying lead changes in between every pole. You're just starting out so's Ruby, so this will only be trot, mm -hmm. okay? But what are the leg cues you're gonna use? You're gonna use the same leg cues, basically, that you used on barrel racing, but you've got a switch on each pole, okay. okay? So I've got these poles set at regulation 21 feet apart, there's six of them. So let me just walk down a few, a few poles and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy, really, once you get the concept. So when you're coming around the pole, I've got my left leg up, then I'm gonna switch, right leg, then I'm gonna switch, left leg, just like that, okay? So, and then I'm gonna come around here, so I'm gonna switch right leg, move him over. Let's trot him off. Left, right leg, left leg. The idea, give it a try. Start off at a walk. 
Yeah. Well, in the real pole bending pattern, you go all the way to the end and then you come, you weave back, weave back again, and then run back again. But we're just practicing the leg cues right now. So just start weaving through there at a walk. Okay. So it's going to be right leg. And now switch to your left leg about right now. Good. You move her over. Good. And then switch to your right leg about right now. Okay, now she's moving a little too far, so left leg. You actually want to stay pretty close to these without knocking them over. It's a general idea. Okay, right leg, push her over. Keep her body kind of straight. Now make your turn, just like a barrel racing turn. Okay, try trotting back. Okay, right leg. Now left leg. Now right leg. Now left leg. 